everyone, it's Mary with Mary's Stampin' Cafe. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I am so happy to be here. Our weather has kind of turned a little chilly and stuff too. It's kind of interesting. I am waiting for my live to uh, show up on my My goodness, what is going on? I am live, but why am I not showing up live on my other one? Oh my goodness. No, not showing there. Why is it wanting to show up a third time? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll just do it from here, I guess. Something is going on. What is going on? Oh! Hey everyone! Sorry about that. I had to push the uh, go live. I had to push the go live button. Who knew? <laughs> Here we are on our fun weekly Wednesday. Weekly Wednesday, finally live here. I thought I was live. Whoop. And now it's kind of funny. I'm like frozen on my end. Oh my gosh. Craziness. Okay. So there we are. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carol. I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry, said, sorry you weren't at card making. Oh, thanks for sharing, Linda, last Saturday. Missed ya. Would have been nice to see you. That's okay though. Hey B. Hi Rhonda. Oh, hearing kids outside hollering, saying hey. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh hi Bunny. You guys on your own devices, B and Bun? <laughs> oh, I gotta turn off this closed caption. I don't like it. I don't like it. How's everybody doing? Boy, a little change in our weather today, huh? For sure. Have my little sweater on. Hi, Becky. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Okay, my demonstrator friends, did you look at the uh, weekly updates yesterday? Hi, Char. Keeping you in my prayers, Miss Shar, for good things to, to kind of go with your health. It's so, you're on my mind all the time, lady. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> hey, V. How you doing, Veronica? I was just saying we got a little chilly and cloudy and drizzly today after a couple of beautiful, a few beautiful days for sure. Yeah. So anyway, so what's going on? Hey, so did you guys see on my on the um, on my um, post what I was wearing yesterday? Hey, Maria. It was so funny. I was sitting. I was work. I was at work, and I'm like, I was kind of looking down, and I saw. I'm like, oh my goodness, my shirt and my sweater that I had on. I'm like, oh, I have some stamping up colors going on. <laughs> And a couple people gave some ideas of what colors they thought, but my thought was, hey, Lori. Oh, you're welcome, Lori. I was thinking uh, flirty flamingo on the sweater. The shirt background was pretty in pink, and then the flowers I thought would be um, sweet sorbet. Hey, Lynn. And I thought, oh, what a fun card to make in those colors. But do you think I'm making that tonight? No. <laughs> nope, not, not making that. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so just uh, just kind of going, working, 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 and um, really quiet this month at the vintage shop, quite a bit, but uh, also really quiet in the Stampin' Up! world. <laughs> 
Oh, but anyway, so demonstrators, if you guys um, went on and looked at your Tuesday update yesterday, there's a, a joining special that's going to be happening beginning for the month of May. Hi, Colleen. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in. Um, yeah, so that's going to be pretty fun. The colors you were, yeah, <laughs> thank you. I still kind of have a little bit of that going on today, but I got some, uh, I think, uh, berry burst and pretty in pink. We got some black. My sweater's coming off pretty dull. It's um, it's more of a pinky, kind of a, a dusty, dusty rose, I would say. It's light colored. So anyway, I just threw the sweater on because it was cold down here in my stamp room. So all right, you guys. Well, let me switch over here. There we are. Sorry, it takes a little time, you guys. My goodness, my uh, my computer is doing lots of thinking. Lots of thinking. Oh, goodness gracious, you guys. I do not have my, let me, I'm sorry, you guys, let me grab my little uh, cutting machine. So sorry, but because I had Stampin' Saturday, I um, took my embellishments and my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine So people coming to stamp would have, you know, a nice place to sit, right? But then I put my things and I didn't bring them back out. These always sit next to me, my um, mini machine and my embellishments. So there, it's all better. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I have a few cards to share. Here we go. This one was from Cheryl McGowan. And look at this pretty one. Just a card to say you're amazing. Big congratulations. Very nice. That paper's awesome. Now it's interesting. It has a little layer back on this one. You can see that kind of green behind it. It's on that, but it's not on any of the other parts. So I wonder if just because this is this is the piece that gets moved so much, she wanted to secure that extra well. Then we have this pretty one from Brenda. I love that paper so much. I'm not very clear on my screen, you guys. I hope I'm clear for you. And then um, this was my card for um, the Make a Card, Send a Card. This was my group four people. But I used the beautiful green, the background here. It's out of stock. You can't get it. Um, and then I used my little koala there. I love those. And then you mean the world to me. So that was mine. So those are a few cards I have to share. You had fun Saturday and the cards were great. Well, thank you, B. I appreciate that. Yeah, I enjoyed the cards too. I thought they were good. Ooh, my glass mat. Messy, 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 messy. Okay, I'm trying to decide where to start. Okay, so I'm going to share a little bit with kit stuff. Remember um, remember, I shared the By Your Side kit? So super cute. I made them at work. And that when you, when you do these kits, you seem to get all of these extra. I mean, look at how many animals I have extra. And I said it'd be really cute to make a another card. So I have that plus um, one of the other kits I was going to share. And then I have another card to make which has to do with, remember the these note cards I made in my stamp uh, uh, Saturday Stampin'? Or maybe I, maybe I did it at Facebook. I don't remember. Hey Sherry. Um, you could do this and create on uh, note cards and have absolutely no waste of your designer series paper. If you just cut it all three by three, 
you have no waste and I could make with three sheets of paper I could make um, well with all five of these I can make 20 cards which is really cool well I have another six by six one sheet wonder that I'm I'm gonna share today so First off, do you want to see the six by six one sheet wonder card first, or do you want me to do the fun, uh, the kit things first? Making another card with that animal set and then sharing the other one. Which first, kits or one sheet six by six? I'll put the Jeopardy music on. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 da dum 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 um, and in that you get all these great designer series paper 12 by 12 6 by 6 and you can also do a shimmery add-on and so I just wanted to let you know about that and I am going to use my um, in color designer series paper and it is our 6 by 6 pack and I decided that I think well I'll let you guys decide do you want me to do the peach pie the pretty in pink or the uh, summer splash which would you like me to do peach pie pretty in pink summer splash hi Sharon welcome Saw somebody else come in here. Who else came in here that I missed? Nope, Veronica. I think I got everybody so far. Oh, Sherry. There we go. Pink summer peach pie. Well, you guys, you're all over. Oh, got a couple summer splashes. Okay, got a pretty in pink. Oh, you know what? Summer splash is winning, you guys. I see three of those. So we're going to go with the summer splash. And what's interesting on this paper, let me show you. So you have this piece of, now remember this has the regals, the subtles, the brights, um, neutrals, and then your in color. All of the designs are the same. So you have this piece that has the stripes on the back or the greenery. There's that one. Or there's this one that has a design, a geometric design and then it has the circles on the other side. So those are the, I guess you would say there's four, four patterns, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I really like this piece. So that's what we're gonna use. Grab my trimmer, trimmer, trimmer. Wherefore art thou trimmer? All right, I get to use my old trimmer. <laughs> All right, so this one I'm gonna do at two. So I wanna see which way I want my flowers to go. If I'm gonna use the flowers or am I gonna use the stripes? I'm gonna go right here. So we're gonna cut at two. Cut it too, and oh my gosh, what in the heck just happened? Let's try that again. Let's not. Let me get my trimmer. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. That was my old trimmer. We don't want that. That was like an old end. Something was wrong with the blade. So we'll set that one aside and let's start again. So I want to go here. Okay. Two. 
So this is a one sh sheet, two, then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut at one and a quarter. So I first did two, turned it, and now I'm doing one and a quarter. I'm going to set those aside. Then I'm going to take this one, I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to go to three quarters and trim that off. Now this three quarters is going to go on the inside of the card. This is going to be the front layer of the card, and then we're going to be doing a little bit of this. So yes, this is going to be a monochromatic card. So now I have my three pieces. I'm going to grab the in color pack of paper and find my summer splash. That is a great color, you guys. Ooh, I don't know if it comes off as great to you, but ooh, looks great. I know the leafy side is great. And what I really like about it, I think it's because of the white. I love how the white flowers and then just the soft outline of the leaves and the flowers. But all of the color groups have that same thing. Okay, you guys. My sister-in-law, Arla, taught me something that she learned at on stage. There was a gal there who taught her something. I always do my cut for the card and then I score it. But do you know if you just take and put your paper at four and a quarter, and maybe you already know this, you do this part first, because especially if you're making multiple cards, you do your scoring first, and then when you turn it and you just cut at five and a half, you have two, hello, two card fronts, or two card bases already done. So otherwise, I would have cut it in half and then I would have had to score twice. This way, you just score and then cut and you've got two cards. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? It's crazy, right? Okay, so now, basically on this card, I'm gonna decide, do I want stripes as my layer here and then my strip of the leaves but then when I do that it's the same so let's take this I'm gonna put my leaf down then I'm gonna take this and then you put this down but you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm going to bring in the other piece because I think it works best doing two so you can really mix and match it if you had a designer series paper that was had different colors and things, it wouldn't really matter. But because of that, this does matter. So I'm going to just grab another one. Kind of like that mixing and matching. And three quarters off the end of this. And see, I have two guard card bases anyway, so why not? All right, so then on this one, I need to decide if I'm gonna use, and I kind of really like that. I really like the contrast of the Summer Splash card base with this. And then you would just put this on top. Then I would come over here and either do the stripes and do this over here. I would do, if I did these circles, that's too much summer splash. I need a little more contrast of the white, okay? So I like this, but you could also turn this over like so, and that's really kind of muted now. Then that's bright, and that's, I don't necessarily like that one as much. Yes, yeah, score first and then cut, absolutely, you guys. It's like, oh my gosh. Why did I not know that? Okay, I'm going like that. All right, so let's do this. And I've got to move this paper, you guys. My sleeve of my sweater is grabbing it. All right. So let's go ahead and glue this first part down. Designer series paper layers are so great because they can still give you all that dimension and texture look 
that an embossing folder can give you without having to, to go and pull out your embossing folder and all that. So I'm just going to use my line that I have on my card base. It does have these kind of lines going across to line up and put that down. And then, oh, I don't know, that little leaf thing could be pretty good there too. Or the stripe. Keep it all geometric, I think. Okay, I will. I'm answering my own questions, you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to come down here. I don't want it to be centered, uh, you know, up and down. I just want it to be in this lower part here. So then let's do it on this one. Yep, I absolutely love this particular design. This one is so pretty. And if you are a person, well, let's see, a design, you know, uh, like interior designer, they're all about mixing and matching of fabrics and, and all of that. So this one you could say, well, that's kind of really busy, but it actually is really great. Okay, so we have that. Now remember, we have our two pieces that'll go on the inside of the card, but we'll need a white layer for that. Okay, so let me show you this bundle that's coming out. It's called Unbounded Love. Now I believe this Unbounded Love is like in a double, um, a double suite, but look at the dies for all of the labels. They're beautiful. And what happens with this is when you go and die cut out, you'll end up with two pieces. The inside pops out of many of these dies. And so you could end up with two. You could end up with an outline and then also end up with a thing there. And this is the stamp set called Unbounded Love. It has, um, it has kind of inside and outside ideas or using just like on the outside of the card, you could have peace and then just have the other part of the sentiment right with it. I wanted to pull in this other one called Simply Said. This is one that is kind of for that idea for quick card making. It's in the area in the catalog that's coming out where Stampin' Up! has some pre-cut cards and they actually then have some what I'm going to call ephemera packs, um, but they're really just different stickers and cards that uh, you can purchase together. But I really liked just the basics of these here. And then the just a note, thinking of you, let's celebrate, birthday wishes, just all that kind of thing. I liked this here, so I think I might use this just because the pattern papers, they're pretty bold, pretty, you know, a lot of going on. So we need something that's not going to be dainty. And I find these are quite dainty. And they won't hold up, I don't think, to the base of these cards. So that's why I'm saying that. All right. So from there, I need to grab some white. We could use, I think there's two of them there. I think I can use those. I think I can use that too. I'm just grabbing some white that I have in a basket here, you guys. My little white stash. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab our Summer Splash stamp pad. And I need to decide which, I'll let you guys, I think I'll do just a note on one and birthday wishes on the other. our little photopolymer stamp set. Let's get our birthday wishes out. Okay.
birthday wishes. It looks like it's kind of wishy-washy wet, but when it, when it dries here, it'll look just fine. No worries on that. And then we'll do our just a note. And I'm, I think I'm gonna grab a different paper just because. And here's our just a note, just a solid little push down. And there we have our two nice sayings. So then from there, I need to decide which labels I'm gonna use here. These are so pretty, my goodness. So I think for birthday wishes, I really like this one because it's not too feminine. Like this one here with all the scallops, that's just so feminine. And I don't really think either of these are all that feminine. I, I don't know if you know what, I, what I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. Ooh, I don't know though. I'm not quite sure that that, I'm not sure that I do want to use that. Maybe I want to use this. Yes, I like that better. Okay, and then the just a note. Hmm. I know I was saying I didn't want things to be too uh, feminine, but I love that. Oh, I don't think that'll work. Nope. I love that though. How about the just a note with this? Not quite. I don't want to go with the, ooh. Hold on, what about this one? We could do it with that one because it's got such, oh no, oh no, maybe. Maybe birthday wishes for that one. How about birthday wishes for that one and just a note for that one. Okay, we'll go with that. Those are so pretty. And again, the other stamp set of the sentiments. Those will be upside down. See how I have that stamp there? I'm, I'm gonna have to stamp this again because these need to go this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have flannel sheets in the washer and I hear them just chunk, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk. <laughs> okay, let's set this aside. And bring in the mini. Bring in your mini. Yeah, the dies are great, aren't they? You know, and everybody has sentiment sets, right? And so if you just love the dies, get the dies, right? Because the dies, here I am thinking I messed up it already. Okay, so this is gonna work out perfect. That fits like so good. Oh, you can't even see, sorry you guys. You still can't see, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I'll offset my plates as I always say to do and roll it through. See what we have here. Okay, I knew that's what was gonna happen. <clears throat> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, you guys. So what this particular die does, if I can get it out of here. Remember I said it does two things. A lot of the dies. Well, that is what this one just did. So it gave me the outline and the flowers here, just like that. And see how this then is cut out? Isn't that interesting? So you know what I'm gonna do. Anybody have an idea what I'm gonna do? It's very cool. What do you think I'm gonna do? Who has the answer? Who's the brave one to tell me? Oh, I, 
don't have king size. Do you, Veronica? We have queen. I'm going to take a piece of this summer splash and I'm going to run just the die through. You guys know what's coming, don't you? Now, a couple of ways I could have done this. I could have done the sentiment on the summer splash and then put it in with the white, but I don't like that contrast. I think that looks kind of weird like that. But I think the white, doing the sentiment in the white is gonna look pretty nifty. Gotta get some of these going here. And the little holes here. All right. A little bit harder for these to come out. Uh, yes, would I be using adhesive sheet? Yes, I should. Um, because the cardstock is a little bit thicker than the basic white, it takes a little bit more to pop these guys out. But that's okay. We can do it. All right, pretty, pretty. So let's set this aside and take a look at my thought here. My thought is to put this back in like so. Like that. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. But let's see, let's grab our card. My thought was that it was gonna go with this one here, but then I'm almost wondering if it go, should go with this one here, because then I think you can see the leaf, the leaf better. What do you guys think? Should I have it here with the kind of the geometric background or should I have it here? See, I just think with all the leafies, it goes so well with the leafies. The name of the stamp set is Unbounded Love uh, for the dies, but this, is, this stamp is called Simply Said. This is just a basic stamp set this is the Unbounded Love dies. And the Unbounded dies can be purchased as a bundle with the Unbounded Love beginning May 1st. Hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. Oh, I love those. Oh my goodness. But again, I didn't want to use these because I felt they were too petite for these two cards with our backgrounds. But that's the bundle. It's called Un Unbounded Love. And the dies are called Unbounded Dies. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, which, which to do, which to do. I do feel like these need to go over here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it needs to go with the Leaf DSP. All right, so then I'm going to come here with our Just a Note. Bring my cutter back over. So put that there, put that there. And we'll get our mat again. And I'll go ahead and put this here. Now I know that the just a note is off centered, but I'm thinking that I want it that way because I'm going to grab this little leaf builder. 
these are really cute these are little flowers and when you do those through the machine one time or leave a little stem when you do it through the machine you'll get two separate little stems but I just want this little leaf because it would be a really nice little accent now let me put them on here the same I know you probably can't see what I'm doing very well oh I put the wrong plate at the bottom oh well It'll still cut. No, it won't. Come here. <laughs> you guys, I'm such a dummy. Need that first. Then I can put this down. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have it kind of up a little bit higher. Then I'm gonna put this down and this leaf. Yeesh. And then run it through. Oh no, you dumb paper. Hold on. My paper got caught up. See what happens when you try to do two things at once on here? What happens to me? Oi, yay. There we go. Make sure your paper's not too wide for the machine. The, the big machine, the regular stamp and cut and emboss machine, it's very forgiving. You can have a little bit bigger paper, no problem. This one, not so much. All right, so let's see what's happened here. Just a fun little dotted border no double so not all of them do the double and then I've got my fun little leaf here and that is just gonna simply accent my label okay let's clean all this up don't want that anymore. Sweater's coming off, you guys. You got me all hot and bothered here. All right. So those two there. My little one up there. And get all of this out of the way. There we go. All right. Whew. That was kind of taking a long time, wasn't it? Okay. Thoughts. I have some. Gonna put this right here. I'm putting this down first. Then I'm gonna come in with my liquid glue, which I should have my thin bottle of glue here, but I don't, so. I can control this pretty good today, so. Yeah, so adhesive sheet is great for this, or if you have the fine tip glue would be perfect for this. It is gonna get a little messy here, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna hold it. Till everything is in its place. There we go. And then I'll grab this little Wink of Stella. And we'll bring those leaves out a little bit by giving them some winky de dink. I'll even run along the edge here.
So there we are. And then on that, we need a little bit of some gems. for that one. And I'm going to use the Blooming Pearls because what I like about the Blooming Pearls is they've got this kind of iridescent thing going on. Oop. And I think they would just go so very well, this one right here. One up there. right there. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Sparkly, sparkly. Birthday wishes. Okay. So then let's bring this one over. There are in color gems. There's the matte in color uh, gems, and then there's the shimmery in color gems. And um, this is going to raise up on dimensionals. Thank you. I don't have either of those right in front of me. I don't think I got the shimmery ones, but the shimmer gems are what you get when you're part of the In Color Club as a thank you. But on that note, Ooh, trying to decide where I want that. There, I'm going to have it there. Now let's get a little bit of glue on here. And when you do the paper share, you actually get a sampling of this in color 6x6 paper pack which is great. So you'll get a little bit of each of the, you get a couple sheet of each of the designs. Oh, hi, Carrie. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Appreciate that. Now we do have the ribbon here. And I'm thinking the ribbon is just a little too thick for anything on this. I think I'm going to keep it petite with the, the gems. So here are my, um, the in color resin dots so this one here i use the bloom and pearls which is just so pretty and then this one i'm going to go ahead and use the resin ones now um remember this is fun too because the polka dot paper here has the dots the circles and then we've got the fun little ones here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to get my idea what I want. I think I want to go right here. Okay. All right. So those are fun. Just the, the flat resin. They look like um, dot candy. Remember the dot candies? <laughs> so how did I make these two cards? Well, from one sheet of cardstock, I cut, them in, cut it in two and I get two card bases. So then I just chose two sheets of the designer series paper six by six then I went ahead and I cut at two inches and then I turned that strip that was two inches and cut at one and a quarter and then I took the other piece and cut off three quarters of an inch but you won't remember all that so when this uploads to YouTube I'll have the the things or I should just do a blog for this and then it'll be all right there on the blog and then you can get your your measures okay so that's that but you guys we need the inside of our cards so let me move my dots away and let's get our inside I think I can just use those it's a little bit smaller but I'm okay with that so we had our birthday wishes and just a note so let's take a look over here. Birthday wishes, we can do let's celebrate. Just a note, thinking of you. Hello, of course. 
Uh, let's celebrate. 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 Thinking of you. We are just on a roll with that. So let's put that one there. And we'll put this one on. And then we can put our little strip. That's the three-quarter strip. On the inside. Because it's so nice to have an inside decorated. Now with a, a, a sentiment like this that's longer, I just like to put it down on a thing and pick it up. Um, otherwise I'm stretching it all out and it just gets weird. Okay, thinking of you. And let's celebrate. Now, neither one of these sentiment sets have any kind of leaves or flowers or anything like that. And that's just fine. Ooh, doop, 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 doop. Press down, press up. Thank you. Much better. But because we have the designer series paper for the inside, it's just fine. We don't need any of that. So now we have to remember this side has the geometric and the circles so that's the thinking of you and so if i put the geometric here which you guys is going to be too long and that's okay i'll trim it off um i think it needs to be the darker circles that's what i'm saying otherwise it's too much white too much white 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 that's why thinking of maybe using the blending brush on around the outer edge here would have been a good idea. I don't know, you know, maybe. All right, let's put this down on here. See what I said about it being a little smaller? It's not a normal layer for the inside. This is one if you put like a colored layer and then this. So if you had a white card base, right? On the inside, you would want to put something else. And then we have our leafy flowers or our stripes definitely going with the, not the, not the flowers, the leaves. All the beautiful leaves and, oh yeah, little flowers too. I'm just going to cut that off, but you know what? I'm just going to stick it around the other side. I didn't put it down very straight on there either. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I will do up a blog. I'll snap a picture of these couple and I'll do a blog and I'll put the link on my YouTube video for the replay. And that way you can go and see what those measures are again. A little more glue right there. There we are. So hey, those turned out really great, didn't they? But there you go, you've got your monochromatic look because you're using the same color. That's our Summer Splash. Awesome, using the six by six in color designer series paper pack. Yes, 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 awesome. Thank you, thank you, Carrie. So there we go. So that's our one sheet wonder, which I used two sheets and I got two sheet wonder, right? I got double the cards. And I used up every part of that paper. There was no waste. Except, of course, this first piece I cut that got really wonky from my bad trimmer, right? <laughs> so there you go. And then you can see kind of my note card size by cutting them three by three. And you really could do this on a large card. I would suggest if you put it on a large card base, you put the other design on the background as a layer, and then you just do this and put it right on top. That'd be really great, and you'd have that monochromatic look going again. So beautiful in colors. Oh, that petunia pop. Woo, love it. Okay, so there you have that. Now, oh my gosh, you guys. It's 650 already, and I only got through those two cards so far, but that's okay. We're going to talk about that fun, fun kit. And this is a kit. I'm going to just share this kit with you guys because, you know, Stampin' Up's kit, there's two type. 
there's the um, there's the one that comes with a stamp set and a spot and then all of the things and that's the one that the pet one was your best friend that I, I shared last time this is a your day to shine kit and it's one of the the so usually it's about 21 or 22 dollars for the ones that have the stamp set and the pad and all of that um, this one doesn't have any of that this one is all consumable and this is called your day to shine and this one is about I don't know, I think they're like $13 or something. They're, they're much um, less expensive because you're not getting that exclusive stamp set. You're not getting a, a stamp and spot. You're basically getting your gems, your um, dimensionals, and then you're getting all of the projects to create the cards, all of the card bases and the punch outs and all of that. All of the things have been done for you. And so these are one of those things that it's a sit down one time, create it, um, and there's not a stamp set to store. There isn't um, a stampin' spot. There's just the glue dots, the dimensionals, and ooh, look at those, those sparkly gems. And then you get your envelopes, and ooh, you get some littles too. And then notice how all of the card bases are all completely done. Here are all of your sentiments that you just pop out. You've got friend, um, shine, and you have other languages. You've got your flowers and your pots and all of that. And then you also have your sentiments already stamped out for you. So all the work's been done. And look at this one, you guys. Look how pretty. This is Mossy Meadow. I think this is Petunia Pop. Calypso Coral. I guess I could look. It would tell me. Hey, Susan. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. There's your three by three. And then they also have some vellum accents and the cute little flowers and butterflies. So this particular one is an all consumable kit and it's under the kits by Stampin' Up. And this is the, one of the newest ones. It was released with the, um, the best friend dog and cat one. And I'm not going to create with this one here. I know, I'm sorry. But how pretty. I love that one with the, the mossy meadow. So there's nothing to collect or store after that one. You're going to create up those projects, give them out to your friends and family, and it's all good to go. Now, with the other one that was released with the... Um, other one. This one was the By Your Side kit and it came with a stamp set. It came with a spot, a Stampin' Spot. It came with an old olive Stampin' Spot, but this is a cute stamp set. It's got the paws and the bone and the fish. Super cute. And then these were the cards. There was this one, <laughs> this one. Got all those fun little hearts. There were four different designs with four different animals, two dogs and two cats. So cute, right? Well then, once you did that, you ended up with all of these extra, uh-oh, hold on. Huh, little heart stuck on the kitty's face. You ended up with all of your hearts that got punched out for the one card. You have some extra circles, you've got animals, you've got a lot of animals, you've got some more of the hearts. You had extras of the tags, several extras of the tags, and then the circles that you popped out. So this could be a really fun card. Why are you here? I don't know. Let's move you. But the colors talked about Calypso Coral, pretty and pink in this kit. Um, what were the other colors? Basic Black, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Copper Clay, Crumb Cake, Old Olive, and Petal Pink. But you know what? I'm not using petal pink. I'm using pretty in pink. Because you guys know I don't like petal pink, right? <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, let's go ahead and make a, make a card here. So this could be really fun. Or not. 
we'll see. I thought about pulling in the In Color Designer Series paper pack just to see if that pretty in pink will work, and looky there, it does work well. I am going to use it. So I am going to go ahead and cut this piece. I'm going to cut it at the two. And then I'm going to take the three quarters off this one. I'm going to turn this one and do the one and a quarter. But because I'm just using the one, I'm not going to use that piece. But I did just cut this like our other card that we just did. See how fun is that? So then I'm going to put this down. So look at that. That's that new pretty in pink. Well, that returning pretty in pink, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and put this other down. Then my little guy is going to come in here. Fun, right? And then I have to decide. Okay. You guys have to decide. We either have Kitty sitting, Kitty playing with yarn. We have doo -doo 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 -doo, our hound dog or our sniffity, sniffity, sniffity schnauzer. That is a schnauzer, right? Such cute cards. So you guys tell me which one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to stamp some paw prints because that's so fun. And um, just so you guys know, we are flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> of course a kitty, says Sherry. Yes, Stampin' Up! does need to do that. You are right. Get rid of that petal pink. That petal pink is just, it, it's gross. It does not stamp right. It, the stamp, the, um, not the stamp, the, um, and we're going to do pretty in pink. Or should I do, oh my gosh, I think I did that crooked. Oh, it's okay. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> of course, the kitty, hound dog, basset hound, kitty with yarn, hound dog, hound dog, hound dog. Oh my. You know what, you guys? I think you might be right about that hound dog because look at his tongue. His tongue is like the pretty in pink, right? But I think I want to get my Calypso Coral because I think that's the color I'm going to do some uh, bones. When you look at the Calypso Coral stamp pad, you're like, ew, I don't know about that. I have another circle in case it doesn't work. Well, see, I'll, I'll do an, I'll end up doing another card with this layout so I can, I'm sorry, you guys, I got a bunch of gunk here that I can do, um, the kitty with. So I'm going to do the paws and the bone. If I was doing the kitty, I would have done the fish, but it's okay. There's our thing and there's our bone. Very cute. So see how I just put them on the same block here, just kind of cattywampus. And then I'm going to take the circle. I am going to need to stamp off, though. Where's my... I have a little post note here that I can stamp off. All right. Ooh, my Calypso Coral is not so... Hmm, maybe I don't want to stamp off. Maybe I do want to stamp off. Maybe I want to use pretty in pink. These are the same color on both sides, yes? No. All right, well, if I mess up, if I mess up, I mess up. I didn't stamp off. Oh, I've messed up already. I just want to see. I don't think that's the color I want behind there. No, it's got to be pretty in pink, you guys. Even though the Calypso Coral base looks good, I just think that it's clashing too much with the how much pretty and pink there is on there. So we're not going to do that. 
So let's do our pretty and pink here. Ooh, but I think I need to stamp off. Let's see. Yep, I'm stamping off. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it looks like it looks like a it looks like a skeleton dog now on on this circle. That is hilarious. It looks like bones and that's funny. All right. So we've got that. I know. It's a great kit. So you guys are going to start doing a kit with me idea monthly. Now, if you're local, it, it'll work out great. If you're not local, well, not so sure. But what I'm going to do is pick a day and time where you can come and bring your kits and kit along with me. You can even say, Mary, I want a kit along with you. Um, like if I say, hey, I'm going to put in my kit orders. I'm putting in an order. Is there anything you want? Because, hey, yeah, do this kit. Grab this kit for me. And I can do that. And then the kit will be here for you. But what I thought would be fun is to do the kit. And then, like we're doing here, create create some alternative cards and extras with the kit. So I've got this best friends forever, but now it's not really going to work here because of what I've done, but it could. It could go here like so. That's kind of fun. And I could put some gems here, little hearts there. Okay, we'll do that question is, do I put it down flat or do I raise it up with gems, with dimensionals? What do you guys think? Flat or raised up? I think it needs to be raised up because the dog is, why does the dog seem like he's so high up? I don't know. One thing that you could do on these is you could trim this off and just use that as a little accent piece somewhere. That would be really fun. So that's going to come right here. Do I want to go all the way over? All the way over or here? All the way over? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I have pink all over it now. What do you guys think? All the way over? Over? Maybe right here? I think I'm going all the way over. There we are. And then... Ooh, I think somebody just came and delivered something to my door, you guys. It was clomping up my steps. How about our cute little Calypso Coral hearts like that? We do have these, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I want to pull in some more Calypso Coral. What do you think? I like that. And then I'm going to grab a white... I need a white for the inside of the card, you guys. Is this kit back in stock? Um, the, 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 the buy your side kit that we're doing right now? You know, I'm not sure, you guys. I'm not sure if it is, but it is, it is, it will come back. Um, if it's not, I will go ahead and put a tentative time when it's being expected back, okay? Best friends forever. So cute. Okay, put those there. I'll glue them on in a minute. This needs to go on the inside. And let's see what stamp we could use. It says best friends forever. That would be cute with two of the animals on the front of the card being best friends together. It says, you make my heart happy. Here's to a true friend, 
best friends forever. Here's to a true friend. I think you make my heart happy. And here's when I'm going to bring my Calypso Coral in. Because there's no pink inside here, the Calypso Coral will work great. Let's stamp it well, you guys. It's not been used before, so the stamp could have some residue on it. Oh, no. 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 You did not see that. I'll have to fix that. I'm not going to fix it right now. Not going to do it. All right, so we're going to have a little dot here, a little dot here, and a little dot here. Big heart. You get a bunch of these little hearts that you punch out, you guys, because for the four cards that have that uh, piece that's the hearts punched out, there's two or three hearts. And so you get a bunch of these little hearts. Look at how cute that is. Best friends forever. And you make my heart happy. But I got a bunch of bleh, there too. So I'll have to put another thing. But look at how cute this would have been right there. Look how cute this would have been right there. Or look how cute he would have been too. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> So, what did we find out today? We could take a piece of designer series paper, six by six, use it to create this fabulous layout, and you could just bam, 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 make a whole bunch. But anyway, what a cute little idea for that with these extra, these extra pets. And look at, there's even this many more, you guys. There's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have so I'm gonna have so much fun. All right, so what was I gonna tell you guys? Oh yes, so the May joining special, if you can believe this, when you join your $125 of product that you pick for uh, $99, you will get the in color stamp and write markers. You will get. the set of in colors, the five in color pads, the markers, a package of the designer series paper, and an in color assortment of cardstock. You get four of each of the colors, you get 20 sheets. So you'll get that, 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 and all five of the pads free when you join. So then in your starter kit, you put the refills, you put the blends for all five, <laughs> right? My gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so got to ask you guys, who is going to now take their six by six papers and do this? It, it's great. Then think about just turning it this way have your little piece going right here. So you could have your little piece going right there. And then you could have your sentiment here. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look how good Pretty in Pink and Summer Splash go together. Look how good that is. Oh my gosh. All right, I am going to switch over here just to say thank you for joining in. If you are new here for your first time, you're gonna make three by three cards. You made, oh, you made three by three cards last week. Oh, that's fun. That is great. So Sharon Wright and um, who was the other gal? There was another, Carrie, right? Yeah, Carrie, oop. Carrie. Well, thank you guys for popping in if it's for the first time. I appreciate that. I think I want to go for like a, um, because we never get to 20. 
We never ever get to 20 people being in our Facebook Live. So that's kind of one of my goals. <laughs> Let's get it to where we have 20 people joining us. What fun conversations we could have. All right, I will let you guys know about the kit for the um, By Your Side kit with the pets. Um, if it's out of stock, I will let you guys know when it's um, slated to be back, when they're expecting it. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. They just did a clearance rack refresh. So there are lots and lots of new things in the clearance rack. Well, not new things, but <laughs> there's lots of things added to the clearance rack. Great prices. Use that host code that's right there. That's still good for another week for Double Cafe Coins and Mystery Hostess. So there we are, guys. Until next time, you know what I'm going to tell you. Oh, keep your prayers for Char, guys. Make sure you keep her in your thoughts. And until next time, you know what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Happy stamping.